instigator. Uh, you know, Zoo had the playoff of his life. So Sham and Reggie makes big shots. So uh, I liked how we looked in that way that other guys contributed. Move over to Andrew. Doc, uh, Kawhi's performance, particularly in the second half today, I think he was 9 of 10 from the field, but it went beyond his shooting. Can, how do you describe the way he helped you guys really close this out? You can tell he was the one guy that was used to closing out series. You know, um, he was calm. He got us in place. We, you know, doing games, you fall on a set, right? And we fell on that little elbow set for him. Uh, he just took what was there. You know, they didn't come, he scored. If they came, he made the right pass. So, I, I said it before the game. I was think I was talking to uh, um, PJ Carlissimo, and I was telling him the one thing I didn't know. I knew he, was, he, he could pass, and I knew he may be a good passer. I didn't know he was an elite passer, uh, and that's something you don't know until you coach a guy. Charlie. Hey, Doc, uh, when you guys lost Marcus, uh, Jamichael got uh, a little opportunity there and, and finished with plus 20 in, in 14 minutes. How yeah, it's great. It was great. I mean, honestly, Charlie, we wanted to go back with him, but they stayed small, and so we just matched up with him. Uh, but Jamichael's been uh, our Swiss Army knife all year. You know, starts at the four. He started at the five. I mean, we've put them about everywhere. Move over to Helen. Helen, where has she been? Yeah, uh, Helene. Helene. Yeah. Helene. Uh, Helene. Um, where have you been? Uh, far away, long ago and far away. <laughs> um, just wanted to ask you, you touched on it a little bit, but what to you are the best things that came out of this series for your team and that maybe leave you a little concerned? Well, nothing concerned because everything that didn't work, we could get better. Um, I think that adversity, uh, I didn't think we played well, quite honestly, for the first three games. Uh, and yet, we still were two and one, you know. Um, I thought we joined the series late. I thought our intensity joined playoff intensity late. Uh, I thought our execution, like, gradually got better. Uh, so what came out of this that I love is you could tell by the end, how much our guys value defensive and offensive execution. I don't think they believe that, that that's what you need during the playoffs. Uh, but I think Dallas got their attention for sure. Miriam? Hey, congratulations, Doc. Um, you, you mentioned Marcus as an instigator and that being a good thing. Um, any thoughts on his getting ejected today and, and just sort of how that energy actually – Yeah, I didn't think he should have been thrown out. But, listen, I'm biased, so uh, – he thought he made a play on the ball, um, and he hit him on the head. It happens all game. So I think it was a reputation throwout, but I, I, you just got to live with it. I love Marcus's intensity. Uh, he, uh, he's a tough guy. Like, he's not backing down, and, and I love that in him. Yovan? Hey, Doc. Uh, I'm curious, now that the series is over, um, what are your thoughts on Luca and, and just facing him in the playoffs at, at 21 years old? I think I was on board with Luca a long time ago. Um, I think two years ago, his rookie year, I said I had a man crush on him. Um, it's, it's grown. So um, he's just a terrific player. Um, I love his toughness. Uh, I mean, we made it hard for him these last two games, and he just kept going. Um, I was waiting for him to get tired, you know, but, but he did. He just kept playing. So um, just crazy respect for him as a player. I love, him. I love his um, plays with a great joy, and I love that as well. Thanks, Doc. That's all the time we have for you today. All right.